Hello. On behalf of the Churches of Christ, and Christ's Way Bible Institute, we welcome you to the rebroadcast of our Monday morning class. It is our desire to assist all who are interested in various Bible, and New Testament doctrines and teachings. We set as a goal one online class each Monday morning. Information and links to the live meeting can be found on our website. www.thechurchesofchrist.life On the live meetings page. May God bless your studies in His Word. All right, what we've been working on is this new study tool uh, that we have placed an ad uh, on the Internet, and we've been talking about it. Today we want to explain it uh, a little bit, and this uh, is the uh, sort of the finished product. Brother Stanley is going to be working on getting the uh, front of the DVDs uh, printed this week. Uh, and what we're doing is the lesson, uh, the series of lessons, ask the question, what seek ye? And so we're using this as an evangelism tool and we're offering it uh, to you. Uh, we're going to try, you know, we're, we're making it as inexpensive as possible and free uh, for people to use, and we're, we're using about three different ways to deliver this, and that's what we want to uh, share and talk about a little bit today, and we we'll hope you'll find some value in this, that you'll look at the lessons yourself, share them with others, and uh, use the uh, opportunity to evangelize others, and we'll get into that as we go along. In uh, the first lesson of the five lessons is kind of an introduction to uh, the worship of God, and the idea is basic Bible principles. And in lesson one, we want to discuss and we'll discuss the difference between self justification and following the teachings of God and ultimately receiving justification and salvation based on God's terms. Now, this particular verse here is one that is in the lesson. I'm not going to go over the whole lesson per se on each one of them today. We have five, and they're each about 30 minutes apiece. And so in less than three hours, they can look at the five lessons. Uh, they don't have to watch them all at once, but we'll... We'll talk about it. So in Luke 10, we have the person who asked Jesus the question, uh, what is written in the law about the, the best or the greatest commandment? And uh, in verse 29, he says, but he willing to justify himself said unto Jesus, who is my neighbor? And emphasis in this part of the, the class will be on the fact that he was willing to justify himself rather than to be justified on God's conditions. And so in the first lesson, as we ask the question, what seek ye? We're going to be looking at some of the aspects uh, of false religion and the things that people seek, uh, believing that that will bring them justification before God. And this area, we want to talk about the idea of sensationalism. A lot of religion and worship today is about the show more so than the truth. And it's about getting people in some kind of good feeling kind of situation where they dance around and they uh, do anything. And they, if they like a certain kind of music, they play that music and they're just trying to create what we call a good feeling uh, rather than feeling good because we know that we've been justified by God. And so we've got that good feeling, the emotional experience. You know, a lot of people like to hoop and hollow and scream and shout, uh, cry. There's just a lot of things on the emotional side. Uh, some people choose a, a church and religion based upon popularity. That is, you know, all the end people are following this and all the good folk or the best are going to this church. And so it's more a social club than anything else. 
And then ultimately at the end of the, of the lesson, we're trying to get them to uh, understand that justification comes by truth and by hearing the word of God. And so in the introductory class, we want them to really begin to think about what it means to worship God and to serve him on his terms. You know, we have something of our own concept that we may be seeking, but God is seeking to do something another way. As we go into the second lesson that's on the DVD, it will say, the second lesson is what seek ye, love or hate. And we'll address a little bit in there the fact that there is a great deal of hatred in the world today. And we need a whole lot more of love for our fellow mankind. And of course, sadly, in our country, just recently, we had a young man went into a school. I'm sure many of you have heard it. He went into a school with a military style rifle and he killed 21 people. And many of those were young children, uh, sadly, in the school. And so the world is filled with hate, people who hate uh, because of nationalities, people who hate because of, yes, their religion, people who hate because of the color of our skin, people who hate for just no reason at all. They, they just hate. And so we're going to talk about the kind of love that God wants us to have. And of course, we're going to begin with the love of God. We're going to talk about the love of Christ. I'm going to talk about the love of truth, which is the Bible's teachings, and yes, a love for others, the right kind of love to have towards our uh, fellow man. Then uh, at the end of the lesson, we're going to touch on some things that we don't need, the kind of love which is the wrong love, which is the love of the world. Now, these are the things that uh, John speaks of in 1 John chapter 2. Uh, the love of pleasure uh, more than the love of God, and of course the love of money, which is the root of all evil. I know a lot of people misquote that saying money is the root of all evil, but it is the love of money, which is the root of all evil. And these three loves uh, get in the way of this type of love. And so we want to ask that question, what seek you love or hate? And truly, do you, you love God and put the things of God in your life? In lesson three, uh, we're going to ask the question, what seek ye, the known God or the unknown God? And we're going to take this, some scriptures uh, that I'm sure many of you are familiar with from Acts chapter 17. And we're going to make a parallel out of that in the lesson when Paul was in Athens, he saw all these idols and the way in which the Athenians were worshiping, and he noticed this one with an inscription to the unknown God. And building on the first two lessons of this series, we're going to talk about the fact that many people today, even if they call themselves Christian, are really worshiping an unknown God, that is, an unknown God to the pages of the New Testament. They're worshiping him based on, as we've already looked at, self-justification, feeling good, emotionalism, and that's an unknown God when it comes to the pages of God's Word. And so we're wanting them to understand and to know to truly know uh, the God of the New Testament and his son, Jesus Christ. And so we're going to be talking about in this lesson that God is unknown truly by many, even though they think they know him, even though they claim to worship him. We're going to talk about the fact that they might be surprised when they really start looking at the God of the New Testament and they find out that he's a little bit different than what they thought. 
I'm going to talk about the fact that God requires strict obedience. Uh, he doesn't allow us, you know, just what we think is right in our heart or what we feel or what we think or what we know. God expects us to worship him in spirit and in truth. He requires obedience. The Hebrew writer, of course, tells us that Jesus Christ is the author of eternal salvation unto all them that love him and all of those who obey him. And so we have that. And so uh, we're going to talk about the almighty God, the true God of the scriptures and the fact that this God of the New Testament, the God that we can know, holds the future in his hands. We don't control the future. God controls the future, and therefore we need to know more about him and his will. And as we saw in our uh, scripture earlier, to study to show ourselves approved unto the almighty God, seeking him in a way that we will truly know him. So the, each one of these lessons are going to be, as was designed in the revival, to keep building on the previous lessons and the things that have, have been learned. And then by the time we come to the fourth lesson, we're asking the question, what seek ye? Salvation on God's terms or your terms? I don't know about you, but many times I've heard people say something like, well, I know that's what the Bible says, but I think this is as good as that, or I think God will accept what's in my heart, and if, if, if I am right in my heart, I'm sure he will save me, and I don't need to do all of those things. And again, the question is asked, are you really trying to save yourself and uh, negotiate with God on your terms? Or are you looking at God's terms for making peace? And so we're going to talk about in this lesson, the gospel's saving power and the fact that we must obey the gospel. And of course, we're going through what most of us already know, but we're going to touch on all of these things here, believe, repent, confess, and be baptized for the remission of sins, and then to live a faithful life unto death. That is that we don't just obey him in the first principles, but we learn through a study of the word of God to be obedient to him throughout all the days of our life. And so uh, we, we hope that by the time they get to this lesson, they're open more to what the Bible says and not just looking for some God that they have designed in their own head, but the God of the scriptures. And we're going to finish up the class, uh, the classes with lesson number five, asking the question, what seek ye? in Jesus' return. A lot of people have many different ideas uh, about Jesus coming again. And so we want to spend some time talking about what the Bible says, what the New Testament specifically says about, <coughs> excuse me, Jesus' return. We want to talk about the fact that the Bible does clearly teach that Jesus will return again, that the dead will be raised, both the righteous and unrighteous. Those who are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord will be changed or transformed. All people will be judged of God. And after that judgment, there will be a great separation where the faithful and the unfaithful will be eternally separate from one another. We're going to talk about the fact God has a reward to give to those who have been obedient, those who've been faithful 
unto death, and that God plans vengeance on them that know not God and obey not the gospel of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, that these will go away into everlasting punishment prepared for the devil and his angels. Uh, the last enemy uh, of mankind will be destroyed at Jesus' coming, and that is death. The first great enemy of mankind was destroyed when Jesus came the first time, and that was sin. Jesus died on the cross of Calvary, was buried, rose again in order for the first enemy to be destroyed, which was sin. And when Jesus comes again, the last enemy of mankind will be destroyed, and that is death. And of course, the earth will be burned up and the works that are therein uh, we, according to his promise, Peter says, look for a new heaven and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. And so the kingdom of those who have been faithful, and that includes everyone from Adam and Eve until the last living people on earth who have been faithful to God in their generations, this kingdom of God will be delivered up by Jesus, and Paul speaks of that in 1 Corinthians 15. And so as we close out this series of lessons on the disc, we take people from asking the question of just, you know, what are you seeking in religion? And we go through some of the basic Bible principles uh, leading up to salvation and Jesus return. And so that's just a short synopsis of the lessons. Now, I want to talk about uh, how we plan to deliver these and how you and others can get access uh, to this. First of all, uh, if you're familiar with our webpage, and I hope as many times as we've talked about, www dot the churches of Christ dot life. I hope that you have been there and have looked at all of the information that is available. Yesterday, we brought up a new page on our website, and that page is entitled Basic Bible Principles, and it is the class, and you can get access, or anyone can get access who you give that link to, to uh, these classes, they can go on there, click a link, and it will take them to a YouTube video, which will, uh, they can pause, uh, they can rewind it, they can go back and look at something if they want to. Uh, these have been designed in such a way that it, they can be, in essence, studied to death if you want to. Uh, you can pause and you can go into the Bible and you can read uh, the, the scriptures and then you can start the video. The lesson is 30 minutes, but that doesn't mean that uh, they can't take more or you can't take more with that. And so we're offering it for quick access on the website. Uh, for those who want to uh, email us uh, through our email links, People who don't have access, uh, you know, can get a return email. We've designed an email delivery system where we will deliver the links to them to all five lessons. And even if they maybe can't always see the lessons, they can listen to them on uh, their phone. Uh, even if they can't see it, they can listen to it and hear it. And then we have uh, the DVD, which is a hard copy that can be shared uh, with others. And so I want to talk about those uh, just a little bit. This is the instruction page from our website in how to go about uh, taking the class. And one of the interesting things is we're going to be offering a certificate of completion when they finish these 
five lessons. And so we will issue a certificate of completion from uh, Christ Way Bible Institute, and uh, we will give them an acknowledgement that they have uh, completed this. At the end of all five lessons, there are three questions which cover some of the main concepts in the lesson. And so we're encouraging them in the instructions to please, you know, again, find the link below for each lesson. Watch uh, with your Bible, pen, and paper. Take good notes and then answer the questions at the end of each lesson. When you've completed all five lessons, email all of your questions and answers at one time back to either one of these emails, and it's a click link. And so they can click on Christway Bible, uh, which uh, will go to Brother Joseph, uh, or they can click on my email. And if they have questions or whatever, they're welcome also to address that either to Christway Bible uh, email or to myself. And so uh, right now, these are live, so you can start looking at them today. You can go on the website and you can start viewing the lessons today and uh, begin to think about how you may be able to use that uh, in your ministry uh, to the glory of God. Uh, in our email, uh, if someone doesn't have a good uh, internet service or they don't have a way other than maybe listening to it, I know I've been told by a lot of people that all they have is a cell phone and they listen to our meetings, but they can't always see everything. Our email that we will send them if they request the email, we will send these five links in the email, which will allow them to listen. Uh, or, again, you can view that uh, if, if you have access to a laptop or whatever, then with, without uh, you know, just uh, much trouble, click on the link and uh, they can go there. Now, these links that I have here, uh, in today's presentation are broken links. I didn't want to put the active ones in there. These have been edited down, so they're not valid, but uh, we we will give them the, the true uh, email links. And Brother uh, Stanley has those links, and I have the links, and we'll be willing to send those to people who can make use of them that way. Also, uh, you can send emails to people that you know, and you can send them the first lesson link and tell them that you have found a very good series of lessons, and you can explain it however you want, uh, and you can send them the first link, and then they can look at the first lesson, and if they uh, find value, in the first lesson, then they can either go back to our website or uh, they can send us an email and we'll send them uh, the rest of the links. And then, of course, uh, we actually do have and will have uh, that these aren't really all ready as we would like them to be today, but there will be a DVD that you can request. And once you request the DVD from uh, either Brother Stanley or myself at those links, uh, we will mail you a copy of the DVD from Christway Bible Institute. The primary use of the hard copy is intended for those who have limited internet or no internet at all. Uh, sometimes people say, well, you know, I, I just, I can't watch something on the internet. My connection's just too slow. Well, we can get them a copy of the DVD, and if they have a DVD player or a computer or something that the DVD will play on, 
they can watch those lessons and they're all on one uh, DVD so they don't have to carry a and you don't have to work with five discs it's just one disc and on top of everything else we as we said we have and are designing and, and working so that this can be a tool of evangelism and part of Christway Bible Institute is trying to get people to understand the churches of Christ the gospel of Christ and ultimately to be saved to be added to the Lord's church and to worship and serve him so when this life is over heaven can be their home and so we hope that you will request a copy of the DVD to use and I'm going to talk about that uh, a little bit as far as the tool is concerned and using it with people that you know uh, over the years these things have proven to uh, be uh, valid ways uh, you can invite someone to come to your house and watch a DVD with with uh, you you have access either to the, the D we hope you will have the ability to use the DVD but the idea is to invite them or if they invite you over uh, tell them that you got this DVD which has some great lessons on it that you'd like to to watch with them watch the first lesson with them and as they watch the lesson when they're finished uh, you know you can suggest that maybe you'd like to see the other four and watch all five and while you're watching the first one with them you can ask them questions you know what do you think about that you know how does that compare to the way you've been worshiping uh, you know and you can also answer questions that they may have and so it's designed to be interactive and so it can be interactive by answering the questions and emailing them to us or again you can uh, sit down with them watch and invite them to to your house or if someone invites you to theirs you can suggest the video to watch that i wouldn't recommend that they try and watch all five at one time uh, they need to watch lesson one lesson two lesson three allow that to digest a little to meditate think about it uh, and you know it's, it's not a race it's, it's not to see how fast that you can get through it but it's a way in which as they take their time they can be introduced to the gospel the church salvation all of that one of the things that you might consider and we have done this before is after they've seen maybe the first lesson with you ask them if they'd like to take the DVD home or and borrow it make sure it's a, a borrow you're not giving it to them I mean later on you can give it to them if you want we'll get you another one <clears throat> but the idea is for them to see the value in it this this is my DVD and I'm loaning it to you you take it and watch it and then when you are looked at all five lessons uh, give it back that way you can ask them again questions like what did you think about lesson three what did you think about lesson five what did you think about salvation as in lesson four and you can engage with them and study with them and they will have a basic knowledge of what you're talking about because they've studied it the DVD is and the internet and the email is a non-threatening way sometimes people are uncomfortable on a one-on-one -on -one kind of situation all the time uh, where they feel pressured but in a relaxed environment such as their own home at their own pace their own time when they can watch with their husband or their wife or their children see we're hoping that 
you know, they will say, you know, come on, you know, let's get the whole family together. Let's sit down and let's watch this video. I watched this with brother so-and-so or sister so-and-so. The first lesson, you know, I really enjoyed that. I want you to see it. And then I, I, I want us to watch this together as a family and encourage them to watch that together as a family. And then as a family, they can think about the situation and the circumstances. And then if you don't hear from them in, in a week or so, you can contact them and say, hey, did, did you get to look at lesson two? How far did you get on the DVD? If they're not going to look at it at all, if they start making excuses like, well, you know, I don't know when I'm going to get around to it or whatever, just tell them I'm going to have to, uh, you know, I, I need to get that DVD back. And so that gives you a chance to go by their house uh, or them come to your house. And you can ask a few questions and, and just, again, qualify and see if you can't encourage them in the things of God. The Bible is our source for all things. And so we want to make sure that what we're doing is by all means scriptural. But there's also the part of evangelism. And, uh, you know, we, we want to use every means possible to get to the same point. And the whole idea in this is whether they're using our website, whether they're using email, whether they're using the DVD, we all arrive at the same place. And that is they put their trust in the living God and they're willing to follow the scriptures to be safe from their sins and allow God to number them with the people of God and put them in his church, add them to his church. And hopefully they will become active members in the body of Christ. And so if you're where if you're in India, Sri Lanka, uh, in the in, in one of the African countries, Pakistan, wherever, uh, again, you can share the link to somebody on the other side of the world. This morning I'm sharing this with you. I'm in the United States. You're on the other side of the world and you're going to have these links and you can start using them today. And so this is a very fast and I hope a very effective way in which people can study the word of God to the salvation of their souls. And of course, uh, when you uh, talk to them about that, uh, you know, be sure and ask for leads. You know, when you're dealing with somebody, ask them, who do you know that you think you who? do you know that you think might like to see these videos? And then you can either get them to share with the links or the DVD or you yourself uh, if you get a lead. And that's what we're talking about. One of the most effective things in the early church that got people saved was the fact that in the book of Acts we see in Paul's missionary journeys, he went in to the synagogues where he knew there would be people interested in the word of God. And he started with people who were interested. And then he worked out into the city as those who were saved wanted him to speak to somebody else and wanted to share his message. And it got to the Greeks and, and to the Gentiles. And so again, you know, ask, you know, you think you'd, you know anybody would like to, to see this, would like to, to have, uh, you know, a copy of the DVD to look at, you know, who, who would you like me to go talk to, you know, what, however you want to ask those questions. And so uh, if you, are interested in a copy of the actual DVD, uh, email, and it's this one's going to go to Brother Stanley. He has the material right now. Uh, but email ChristwayBible at gmail.com. And we are recording this, hopefully, and we'll uh, try to get it back up. But you can go and look at the links and, and all of that. But... Uh, 
we're going to open it up to questions in just a minute in case you have any. Uh, but before we do that, I'd like to go back to God in prayer, if you bow with me. Most kind and gracious Heavenly Father, we're so thankful for this day and for this opportunity, Father, to assemble with brothers and sisters of like precious faith, to assemble, Father, with those who are interested in your truth. And we pray, Father, that the things that we are doing and the things that we are learning and the things that we're sharing with others may lead to your glory and to the salvation of the souls of those who are lost. We're thankful, Father, for Jesus Christ and his gift on the cross of Calvary. We're thankful for the church. We're thankful for the Bible. We're thankful for your grace and your love. We pray, Heavenly Father, that at this time you'd be with the sick, the afflicted, with those who are suffering, hurting, Father. We pray that you would grant them a measure of your grace sufficient unto their need. We pray, Father, that you will be with us in this week. We pray, Father, that you may open up doors of opportunity that we might preach and teach and share the precious gospel of your Son, and our Savior on the cross of Calvary. Be with us, we pray, Father, and in the end, heaven save us. In Jesus' name. This evening, we wish to thank you again for spending your time in study with us. We hope the lesson has been uplifting and motivational. We encourage you to return again for our next lesson. Until then, may we invite you to visit our website. You will find many study opportunities. Our resource page has links to the Gospel Broadcasting Network, a 24-7 station with many great Christian programs and speakers. In Search of the Lord's Way, with Brother Phil Sanders. We have two links for Bibles and downloadable software. If you are looking to really expand your knowledge, perhaps you might like to try World Video Bible School, a college-level learning site free of charge. So, until next time, may God bless and keep you in His care as we walk together in His truth. And remember as always, the Churches of Christ salute you.